Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another Fan TV, man. Back at another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, man. Let's get into it. So, today was day one of Ravens training camp. Football is back. So, you know, if you was here last year, you know how we do it. We're going to talk about, I guess, the injuries, what happened on offense and defense, as far as what happened to their training camp from you know, the reporters that was there. And, um, you know, get my opinion on what they was talking about. So, let's, let's get into it, all right? So, um, I think first thing, something that's interesting, I think it's kind of cool, is that the Ravens, QBs, they got new practice jerseys. They got, like, this gold outline around them. I'll, I'll put the picture up there. So, that was cool. Um, but on something that's football-related, like, real football-related, um, all the Ravens passed the conditioning test um, day one. Now, that certainly didn't happen last year. Ben Cleveland didn't pass. I think somebody else didn't pass as well. So, that's a good sign right off the bat, right, that all the Ravens passed the conditioning test. There's no holdbacks from it. So, um, I can't remember the last time that's happened, but I don't think that's happened recently. So that's a really good sign to start to start training camp. All right. Um, now injury report that everybody pretty much nobody left practice with the injury except for one player that was Jordan Swan, undrafted free agent cornerback. So the Ravens had a healthy practice. Uh, people who weren't out there on the pup list, we know J.K. Dobbins. Um, Harbaugh said he doesn't expect J.K. Dobbins to be out long, but he said that's a J.K. question, uh, making it seem like as though Maybe J.K.'s taking it slow and getting back on the field for recovery reasons. He didn't make it seem like he was holding out, holding in, because J.K. doesn't really have any leverage to do so. That really wouldn't make sense for him to do that. But we don't know. I'm assuming that he's holding out for some, some, type of, uh, some type of health reason. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Ties Bowser, Rashad Bateman on the pup list with soreness to their injuries. Um, and then Pepe Williams, Pat Ricard out on pup list. So... There were three other Ravens who didn't practice on it, uh, but Trayvon Mullen, offensive lineman uh, Brandon Kipper, and wide receiver Makai Polk. Now, two Ravens who did practice, which is a good sign. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, full participant. So, you know, it's been a, a brutal couple of years for Ronnie Stanley. So, so, he's a full participant in practice day one of training camp. Great news. Uh, Gus Edwards, same thing. Full participant day one of training camp. Brutal last couple of years for him as well. It's great to see him out there full go. So, that's, that's great news. Now... Uh, this ain't gonna be too long, right? Because it's uh it's only day one, so not too much happened today. Um, you know, I mean they the Ravens, like all teams, probably they start off day one light and then ramps up from there. But uh we will we will talk about what happened on offense and defense. So on offense today, uh reporters noted that the tempo was fast today. The Ravens weren't um sluggish coming in out of breaks and huddles and things like that. Uh I think it was John the Shaper. I'll put the tweet up there said that this is probably the fastest the Ravens offense has been tempo wise um, in this, you know, these last couple years. So uh, that's a good sign. Day one already getting used to a faster paced offense because we know uh, last season and many seasons before that, when Greg Roman was under, was at the helmet offensive coordinator, the Ravens consistently played at a pace that was too slow too often. All right. Um, and then listen, man, QB1 Lamar Jackson was sharp today, accurate, especially underneath. He was quick to throw, got the ball out of his hands. Uh, made the right plays, made the right decisions. Uh, Zay Flower was impressed today. He they said he might have had the most catches. Um, he was very active underneath. He even got um, caught a pass. Uh, I think it was near Roquan Smith, kind of zooming by him on the crosser route, showing off that speed. So things we like to hear like that. Uh, Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham was probably the most popular Raven, just looking at their videos on the Ravens' uh, Twitter page. Uh, when he came out, the ovation was crazy. But he also did actually make plays on the field. He had a stop and go route on uh, Rocket Scene, which led to a great throw by Lamar Jackson and a completion. So deep down the field, so um, that's good. They already had that chemistry from working out in Florida. It looked like it's transferring over to day one, uh, but you know, hopefully that continues for this office who, who we expect to be really good. Okay. Now that's the offensive side of the ball. Um, on defense, man, uh, Kyle Hamilton had an interception today on Lamar Jackson. All right. Uh, he picked up Lamar Jackson. Lamar tried to throw a pass deep to Nelson Aguilar, and Kyle Hamilton stepped in front. Well, not stepped in front, but went up and made the play on the ball, right? Um, one, that's great news. Well, okay, let's over the offensive side of the ball. I really don't care that Lamar Jackson threw an interception. Let's that's, that's, that's start with that right there. Um, as long as it doesn't become a thing that's, you know, multiple or practice, whatever, um, it's practice for to get things out, try new things. He tried a deep shot. It didn't come off. Doesn't mean he can't. He should stop trying them. It's a part of the game, right? So I just want to keep that part out of there first. Uh, on the Kyle Hamilton part, that's great, right? Making plays on the football is something that we need to see from our safeties. Um, and we already know we got Marcus Williams, who's a who's a ball hawk at safety. If Kyle Hamilton can get his hands on the football, 
something similar to Marcus Williams, that's amazing. That means you have two safeties right there who can both hit, both tackle, and both make plays on the football. Um, you're making yourself a very, very formidable secondary if you got two safeties who can do that. So it's a good first day for Carl Hamilton doing that, all right? Um, Odafi Owe had what would have been a sack if you were allowed to hit the quarterback. Obviously, you're not a training camp. They have on different colored jerseys for a reason. Um, so Odafi Owe doing pretty much what he did last training camp, which is um, get, you know, would-be sacks. You know what I mean? Now it's time for him to go from the training camp to in-game and finishing those plays off. But it's day one, so that's good to see. All right, last but not least, Geno Stone had an interception today on Josh Johnson. Um, big play by Geno Stone. Um, this is Josh Johnson. I think they said that Josh Johnson air mailed the throw. He missed the seat by multiple yards, but DB still got to catch it, still got made to play. Uh, Geno Stone showed last year that he's a little bit more than a backup, even though that's what he'll be this year for the Ravens because, you know, the starting, side, the starting spots of safety are pretty much locked up. But he can play in this league. Geno Stone could be a starter for another team in this league. I'm not saying he's a high-end starter, but he could be an average, slightly above average starter for a team. But he's on the Ravens who already have great safety depth, so, you know, here we are. Um, so that's pretty much happened on offense and defense, right? So if I, if I was to my main takeaways from practice is that Lamar Jackson looks sharp, which is great, which is what we want to hear about Lamar Jackson and his offense. Zay Flowers being extremely active underneath, which is great because his um, run at the catch ability is something that the Ravens really haven't had at, at receiver in a while. You know, somebody who can make multiple defenders miss, um, that's special. And that Zay Flowers can do that, okay? Um, now on defense, Kyle Hamilton making plays on football. We just talked about that. But if he can continue to do that, that's going to only up his stock. Because last year we saw that Kyle Hamilton can play physical. He can tackle. He can come downhill and make plays. Now if you throw on, oh, he can cover tight ends. Now you throw in him taking away the football, that's going to make him a really, really great player. Now, obviously, PFF has him at the number one rate of safety last year. I'm not putting too much stock into that. But what I will say about that is the fact that he had a good rookie season. Uh, taking the ball away is the next step of him being becoming a great player. All right. So, um, and as far as the injury guys, uh, I think the only one that's really interesting is the J.K. Dobbins because Hobbin, Hobbin, excuse me, uh, John Harbaugh <laughs> said that um, it's a complicated situation, right? So, it does seem to be injury-related. It also could be something else. Once again, I'm not the opinion that J.K. Dobbins is holding in because, once again, he has no leverage. He's missed the last couple of years. Um, so he doesn't have any, any leverage to hold out for a contract. You know, that's just how the running back market is, unfortunately, um, for him. But um, I think he might be playing the safe with his injuries, uh, just trying to, you know, not get hurt early on in training camp or preseason. So we'll see where it goes from there. Um, Harbaugh said, like he said, he didn't have any uh, concerns about his long-term availability. So we'll see where it goes, man. But listen, that's Ravens training camp day one. Uh, good practice for the guys. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow to talk about day two. Um, I will be going to the Ravens training camp in person. I believe it's on Saturday. So if y'all going to be there, man, you know, we'd love to see y'all. So uh, anyway, but I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel. Just on the fan TV.